separate the men from the bars, motherfucker. Let's go. 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 Let
It's something that happens between two individuals that's willing to go in business together. Rather you like it, love it, or not. That's what it is. That's what marriage is. Point blank, period. Okay? That's this whole thing that went down with Dr. Dre just a couple of weeks ago. Him and his wife. And you, you see how much she getting from that, you know, divorce settlement. Uh, the Bezos man, the, the owner of Amazon, right? His wife got <laughs> close to a couple of billion dollars, a uh, million dollars or a couple of a quadrillion billion dollars is what I was trying to say, right? You know, from 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 their settlement or however they, you know, what she was entitled to. So anyway, I'm not I'm not going down that rabbit hole neither. But it's interesting, okay? So that roundtable meeting, people trying to label Will Smith as being weak and Jada as crazy. When they met, y'all missing a whole, y'all missing everything that, that they putting out on the table for you, okay? Now. You know, I, I'm a little indifferent towards Will Smith, especially because, you know, his ties with Je Jeffrey Epstein. You know what I mean? Like, he's got some strange ties, you know, and, and it's a strange things that's going on with Will Smith and this whole deep state thing. But I'm not I'm not even going to get into that. You know what I'm saying? Blessings to Will Smith. Much more power to you. But at the end of the day, though, you got to understand that these people are talking quantum mechanics. You understand? Nikilo Tesla said Now I'm, I'm speaking from my heart Like I said I'm paraphrasing this the best way I can He said If you want to know the secrets of the universe You have to think in terms of uh, Electricity Vibration and energy That's the key That's the key Okay What Jaden and Will Smith They talking They talking God talk They talking on a frequency That you have to understand from quantum mechanics Now in case y'all didn't know this, okay, that August Alcina was suffering from some, some kind of real serious autoimmune disease where his immune system was attacking his liver, basically, okay? And this man lost the ability to walk, all right? This man, he lost family members, okay? This is some kind of genetic disease that's running through his veins, you know, um, that uh, that's caused him to, to suffer badly. I mean, I remember a couple of years ago, man, we thought August Alcina was... was was getting out of here, man. We thought he was going to transition. And when you look into it, you can see that the dude looks very healthy. He looks vibrant. He looks like he's doing very well for himself right now. You know what I'm saying? People can say what they want to say about August Alcina. I'm not getting into all that. You feel me? And I'm not following the witch hunt because that's all y'all motherfuckers do want to do is just sit back and just observe people and how they live their life and what they're doing. And you want to you want to put a title on them. You want to label them. You want to, you, you know what I'm saying? You just want to have something to talk about, you dig? With your, with your circle of people or whatever to make you feel like you you, you got all the answers, you so important and woo-woo and this and woo, -woo that. You know what I mean? I, I'm not getting to all that, you feel me? What I'm simply saying is, is that this man was on death's door. He was knocking on death's door. You know, he was banging on that bitch, in fact, okay? This nigga was about to check out of here. But if you pay attention to what this man has been saying... Is that, you know what I'm saying, Will Smith and Jada, Jada Smith, you know, they reached out to him. You know what I'm saying? The, the Smith family reached out to August Alcina, hooked this man up with somebody that they was close to, and that man healed August Alcina, okay? And Jada Pickett Smith, you know, I get the vibe from her that she she has this, this black woman is God kind of energy, right? And, you know, she she must have, they must have drawn some ah. Uh, uh, some some mushroom juice or something like that or, or took some DMT or they meditated they did something man they did something when they went to the source together okay that's what the whole entanglement thing is about all right I'm gonna get into that in a little second but follow me on this one all right okay because you, you, your boy is speaking I'm trying I'm trying to try to put y'all on game with this guy code thing all right some of y'all this is gonna go over y'all here y'all gonna if you made it this far in the video, you 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 one of the blessed ones, all right? You the one who understand where I'm coming from with this one, okay? Because this is one take. I'm talking from my heart and my mind together, you know what I'm saying? It's because just from the information that I've gathered after knowing that this man was dying, he was healed, right? And Jada Pickett was a big reason why this man was healed, okay? H-E-A-L-E-D, okay? This, this man's disease process was totally eradicated and you don't see all because i've seen him walking around this bitch with no mask on his face neither okay so clearly 
this man got his shit all the way together. Now, you know, the the, the messy part about it is people want to get in, get intertwined and in what their sexual relationship was about. I'm not getting to all that. What I'm simply saying is, is that quantum mechanics is the way of this universe, bro. You feel me? It's all about love. You understand? And people is criticizing and demonizing August Alcina for what he was saying. But clearly what the man was saying is that he had a loving blessing from, from both Will and Jada Smith to, to take part in whatever it was they was doing behind closed doors. Whatever mushrooms they was eating. Whatever DMT they were smoking together. Whatever they was doing to get closer to the source together, right? To meditate and, and to, you know... Um, Transcend into the to the to the particle wave theory of quantum mechanics, right? The string theory pondering, as my man Lupe said, right? I'm not trying to confuse all or whatever. What I'm saying is that man, everything is energy, bro. You feel me? This the, everything is 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 nothing but atoms entangled together that's vibrating at a high level. And that's what's creating matter. That's what that's what creates things that's solid. All right. But but nothing is solid. Everything is light. Everything is energy. You understand? Feel me? So when these individuals are speaking like this, when they're communicating like this to the rest of us and have everybody just get it all fucked up and all twisted, you know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. You have to become entangled with it, right? And there's only a certain group of people like I know in my heart where I can have a quantum mechanics conversation with them. You know what I mean? And really expand the horizon and, and, and you know what I'm saying? We can both enlighten each other with, with the information that we sharing and that, that we knowing. You feel me? See, the thing is with quantum mechanics, bro, is that it, 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 it does everything, bro. It, it heals people. You, you name it. What you think Dr. CB was working with? What you think all these healers around the world is working with? What you think these people that can walk across a football field of hot coals under their feet? What you think that's all about? What you think about what you thought that was on Pulp Fiction when Jews, you know what I'm saying, the divine intervention? What you think that was? That was quantum mechanics. That was quantum physics, bruh. You feel me? And it's the same thing. When, you, when they talk about entanglement, bro, you feel me? That's why they say energy never dies. You dig? You just transcend. You just, you just, it's like this physical body is just the vehicle and it's just this signal that's coming from the source this this whole universe is nothing but but a big quantum computer when you really think about it it's just receiving these updates it's like we into this they call it a um they call it a um uh uh what they call it a, not a digital realm i'm not saying that they just say that this is a um like you know a program you dig like and that's the same way our minds operate you dig when you really get down to the particle and quantum theory thing i know a lot of y'all is probably gonna switch off for of this shit but you gotta feel me on this one if you really still with me you dig you know what i'm saying that just the same way computers get uploaded with bits of information and what are the bits of information the zeros and ones right now they got the special quantum computers with the special nano chips and shit like that that can spark it up and, and, and take the, the computer code to a whole nother level. That's how they're able to do quantum uh, uh, computing with the clouds and stuff like that. You feel me? That's a lot of this stuff that's going on with the with the uh, with, with Elon Musk doing with SpaceX and these 5G satellites and all this stuff, man. It's all about, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the the frequency the, the the energy waves and how it affects our ourselves on a quantum level you did so anyway what i'm saying is, is this bro i'm saying that this man was healed okay so obviously if somebody saved his life and he was healed and it came from a loving source this healing y'all need to understand what, what this man is trying to say on that you did that man you need to find a woman that's gonna heal you <laughs> you dig y'all around here are all hurting bro but it's got some real it's got some real vibes in that too you understand it's because let me tell you something bro every chick i done dealt with knew from the go on what type of man they was dealing with all right all right so you know 
I don't really get into how the female is and things of that nature. But one thing I say for sure is, is that a woman is always going to be submissive around me, feminine around me. That's just the, the energy that I bring to the table. You're going to feel comfortable being around me, being a woman, being in a loving, nurturing energy. Okay. You know, and, and, and just cherishing every moment that you have to spend with me when I choose to spend it with you, when I'm not ripping and running and trying to take care of this house, you dig, and things of that nature. You understand? But at the same time, you can't question Will Smith's integrity as a man. Really? This man is worth a, a billion dollars. He has successful kids, right? He, you know, his marriage probably didn't work out, but they're still entangled. Right? It's still about love. And for them to sit there in front of the world and do that, it takes a lot of love and it takes a lot of understanding to get that done. And I can tell you now that August Alcina is not as hurt as as these just mindless automatons are thinking. You feel me? This man is letting you know the potential, right? He's letting you know the possibilities of what can transcend and happen. When you really find love, he was just speaking from his heart. He might have said, he might have talked a little bit too much, okay? It's because nowadays, you know, you got these stupid ass bitches and these stupid ass niggas, you know, stupid ass bitches that portray themselves as fucking real niggas. They gonna run their mouth and spread rumors and spread lies and get things all twisted up instead of understanding that, man, we all in this shit together, bro. It ain't no separation from nothing. You feel me? Like what Will Smith and Jada portrayed and what they're letting you know is that we all connected. We all share the same problems. It's all on how you can resolve those problems. People so full of hatred that they wanted Will Smith to just bash Jada's brains in. Nah, for what? If they people so full of hate that they want to criticize August Alcina for speaking his mind and speaking his heart. But this man's letting you know that he was sick and he was healed from the love he received from those people. That he loves those people to death. And all he was saying was, look, I wouldn't even be talking about this if, if Will Smith didn't. As a man, we didn't have to sit down as, as men. And he told me, look, man, it's all good. You dig? Y'all entangled and she's healing you. And, 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 and look, man, you know, hey, you got my blessings. <laughs> what? All right, that's some cool shit. So it tripped him out a little bit, I understand. But as that man grows in his spirituality and continues to grow and do his thing, he's going to influence so many more people that's going to have that understanding on what love is about, what quantum healing is about, what the quantum world is about. You feel me? What spirituality is about, what real love is about. You understand something that y'all y'all ain't gonna understand is because y'all got so much hatred in your heart. Y'all got so much hatred clogging up your brain that your emotional system inside of your brain, the emotional center is in your brain, your 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 hypocampus, you know, and, and your amygdala and your side your brain, you feel me, is 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 clogged up with, with grease and parasites and hatred and plaque and all kind of just 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 hateful energy, okay? So these people is flying, they ascending, right? You know, their heart is one wing and their mind is the other wing. And they flying, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all are just, just using your mind and not using your heart, or vice versa. So y'all just spinning around in circles. You know what I mean? Wanna want spread rumors, spread lies, say this, say that. So you already know all this shit is just gonna continue to grow and develop and it's gonna just turn crazy and crazier as more people and, and all these stupid automatons. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect, but I mean, you know, when you got Boosie talking about it, you know, plies and all them coming out talking about it, Carcino for life, you know, no disrespect to none of those dudes or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But you know, they all just reading this from the wrong perspective because it's all about perception and i certainly believe that <laughs> everything that will and jada talked about at that table was something that i understood it, it wasn't nothing that was like oh they're crazy oh jada sounds so crazy and will sounds so weak and oh jada just you know what went wrong and she was in pain and, man look bro if them people was able to get that out of their system you feel me? It's no wonder that <clears throat> they can heal and, 
and get past certain things so easy is because they're willing to put things on the table and talk about it. Why keep that stuff up in you? Why allow that stuff to, to fester inside of your body and, and cause you it cause your immune system to shut down? That's why so many people out here dropping like flies because of this this uh this this Chinese virus, right? You know? I mean it is what it is. Okay? So anyway, man, you know what I'm saying it's all about love, it's about quantum energy. And it's about understanding on a deeper spiritual level. That's that's the information that they're giving out there. Now, like I said, I have my, you know, I have my bones to pick, you know, for lack of better words, with Will Smith because he got to answer why the hell he was on Jeffrey Epstein's call log list. He got he got to answer those questions, bro. Well, why why was he dealing around, you know, with them people with them pedophile things? So you know, you just don't know. Why these stories is coming out the way they coming out and is it a distraction? But at the end of the day though, I understood what the whole thing is about. It's about love, right? It's just a scrambled, you know, signal. It's because of the you know, the type of world we're living in right now, you know what I'm saying? People are taking adultery and, and they're doing weird things with it and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I understood what it's about. It's about spirituality and it's about being one with yourself. It's all about you at the end of the day. But you got to find yourself some love. You got to bond with somebody. You got to have somebody that loves you on a deep primal level that's not your family, that's outside of your family, okay? That can heal you, that can get you right, all right? You know what I'm saying? It's about, it's about rising up, not staying in stuck in mediocrity, okay? That's the message I'm trying to get to y'all today. You feel me? That is deeper than what the fuck y'all thinking it is on the surface. All y'all chatterbugs and y'all trying to judge these individuals and have all this negative stuff to say about them because they didn't went public with it but you gotta understand man it's all about you at the end of the day and i caught that message you dig so so i resonate with that and i have to throw my two cents in the under, understanding pot and allow my heart and my ripples to spread out to the universe because somebody out there is gonna hear me somebody out there is gonna understand what i'm saying to you when it's when it, when, when i talk about quantum entanglement okay and the quantum field all right, and how to tap into that uh, with your mind and your body and, and, and your emotions, okay? And, and you transcend, right? You transcend, you grow and develop. And, and this coming from a street nigga, you feel me? I'm from New Orleans. You dig? And that's another thing I wanted to say, you know, on this shit, because I don't just throw that term out there lightly or nothing like that. You feel me? But ain't no debating with me. You feel me? Like, I was born and raised in the street. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing you can say to me about no street shit. Nothing. Be, being fake or being less of a man or being a weirdo. Fuck y'all niggas. If that's how you feel, I tell that shit to your face, to your mom face. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I don't like inculcating my spirit with that negativity. You know what I'm saying? But some people that take this kindness for a weakness and try to flip it on you. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is, is this. Look, look here. And I'm going to tell you this. Real shit. And this is coming from, from a real one that done traveled and done been around this country and done been overseas. Women just love us niggas from New Orleans, bro. You feel me? Y'all know. Y'all got to y'all gotta get down with that, bro. I know it's a lot of hate. There's a lot of dudes that hate. But you know what I'm saying? You know, we, we check that hate shit real quick. You feel me? Wherever we go. You feel me? You can feel how you want to feel about New Orleans niggas, but trust me, dude. Just, just trust me on that one, bro. You dig? My pussy count and my head count is off the charts, okay? It's off the charts. You know, wherever I go, I'm good when it comes to P-U-S-S-Y. Believe that. You dig? Because, you know what I'm saying? It's just something about the vibe. It's something about the energy that, that women just feel and they love about us New Orleans niggas. Because, you know what I'm saying? They just understand, they understand what time of day it is, and it's, it's way beyond the accent. You feel me? It's because we know how to we know how to how to how to be in tune with the electromagnetic energy. You did, but we can also be warriors and we could be real men at the same time. See y'all, see, a lot of y'all can't vibe with that. A lot of y'all can only just go one way. You did, man. We we universal with it. You did. We 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 got the rule at the bottom of the pot in the gumbo. You did. We know how to how to build a solid foundation with with knowledge, wisdom, and, and understanding. You feel me? You did, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Special numbers and shit like that. Anyway, man, that's that's a little bit too advanced for you. I'm not gonna go that right now, you know what I'm saying? But I hope that you understood where I was coming from with what I was saying tonight. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave it at that. I done got a little winded about it, but I just had to let y'all know that it's really all about love. 
You dig? At the end of the day, it's about love. And that's how we're going to heal ourselves is when we speak out of love. Anyway, let me know how you guys feel about it. Did I talk a whole bunch of <laughs> wacky shit that you just can't get down with? Maybe it's just not for you, bro. Maybe y'all just look at Will Smith like he's a weak man. Y'all going to try to denigrate this man. But I'm going to tell you now, Will Smith ain't worried about y'all motherfuckers. He ain't worried about how y'all feel. You think? This man got a whole family. He done raised great kids. He done raised all of them a millionaires. He's got generational wealth. Clearly, he's helping people. And, and he and his wife are helping people all across the board. You got some questions to answer about the pedophile he been dealing with. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll touch on that in a deeper scenario once we gather more information on that. You feel me? Anyway, y'all, y'all let me know how you feel. This your boy, Evil Boxing Profits. Signing out to the next one. I'll let your boy 100. Woo-woo. I'm out.